Hey guys, GF the Gene here, welcome to my newest Let's Play of Persona 3 Portable. Alright, uh, actually I want to say something. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I was going to, uh, be playing Persona 3 FES, because I want to do the mail, which is what I'm going to do now, but, uh, was it, uh, something happened with my Persona 3 FES, ROM, and emulator, because the PCSX2 emulator is a piece of shit and it crashes all the time, so fuck that. I might possibly do FES, the answer, when I get a PS3 capture card. It doesn't cost that much, surprisingly, I think it's like 50 bucks. So when I get that, I'm definitely gonna play the answer, which is the epilogue to FES when I can, or, or I guess epilogue to the journey, which is what this is. But anyway, without further ado and confusion of what this all might be. Let's just jump right in and select our main character, which is the male. And we'll be playing on normal mode because I really pushed out last time on Persona 4 Golden when I chose easy mode. And I'm not going hard or maniac because I feel I more than made up for that by playing through Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne on hard mode for you guys. So, yeah, I'm playing normal mode. <sighs> Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter, with your heart as your guide. Terminal Station, evening. The station entrance is buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I just... put it in my head, pull the trigger. No chickening out. No, I can't. Inside the New City passenger train on a Hazaru. Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. You arrived late. It's almost midnight. Ugh, damn. Something about the atmosphere seems odd. Mm -hmm. Probably be best to hurry to the dorm. <laughs> it's hung what could happen now. Looks like the power's gone out. And there's coffins and blood everywhere. Huh. Sit no one to be found anywhere. Nearly a gigantic moon. Well, looks like we're here. Gecko Khan High School, Uatodai Dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. Well, might as well head on in. Nothing else I can do. Welcome. 
You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Something is written on the paper he's holding out to you. I chooseth this fate of mine own free will. Below it is a blank to sign your name. Well, we might as well go ahead and do what the strange young boy asks. Anyway, name I'm gonna pick for my main character this time around is Ein de Faro. I know, it is fancy as hell. <laughs> my original name. Usually my original names aren't very good. But I feel Ryan Nomi and uh, Ein de Faro are extraordinarily good. There we go, Ein de Faro. <sighs> Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. And so it begins. Wait, what? The unknown boy disappeared as if melting into the darkness. Hmm. Who's there? What now? How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. Whoa, whoa, let's all... Let's all calm down here, lady. Wait! Huh? The lights! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. Hello, Yukari. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. It's nice to meet both of you, but, uh... Yukari, why do you have a gun? Huh? Um, well, it's sort of like a hobby. You know what? You don't have to explain any more than that. If you if you're a psychopathic killer, I don't want to know. Just 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 don't tell me. Well, not a hobby, but you know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. Well, you know that sounds more plausible than oh, it's a hobby of mine to go around with a gun. It's not a real gun, of course. Oh, well, that would have helped in the explanation too, but it's getting you know. late, so you should get some rest. Details, details. Your room's on the second <laughs> floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Well, thank you, Mitsuru. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. I don't exactly trust you, but... I suppose I have no say in the matter. Very well. Dormitory, second floor hallway at the furthest door. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. <laughs> yeah. So, any questions? Let's see. Questions. Uh, what's the contract for? Huh? W what contract? <laughs> uh, never mind. Your car doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Uh, let's see. There are coffins everywhere. Nothing worked. Uh, giant moon. Blood covering the streets. Yeah, I suppose that passes for okay in Iwatodai. I see. Never mind then. Well, I better get going. All right. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Night. <laughs> questions. All I have are questions. Kudos to you, to you if you know what I'm quoting. And now that I remember, there's something I forgot to go over with you guys uh, just before I began this. This run is going is going to be a max social link run. I'm not going to miss anything. Uh, because I got a guide right here with me. It'll be unlike Persona 4 where I just did whatever. But at times I will be doing what I think I want to do. Like when it comes to this game's summer festival. If you remember Persona 4. Uh. Alright. 
so uh, as the game was just saying, we can hit uh, the R button to uh, bring up these little icons. This is, this game is kind of like a little point-and-click thing. Well, at least the overworld is. Uh, and uh, as you can see, we have two types of icons. We have a question. We have an exclamation point, which is orange, and two little arrows, which are yellow. The arrows mean that clicking there will bring you to a new location, and the exclamation points mean you're just going to interact with the object. Uh, however, there's really nothing we can do right now, so let's just head on off to bed. Because we are tired after our long day from riding the train and seeing all those coffins and everything. <laughs> it's Yukari! Are you awake? Yeah, I'm awake, and I might as well open the door for you, because I guess I will be the gentleman. <laughs> Good morning! Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Sunpai asked me to take you to school. Okay. Are you ready to go? I, I guess I have no say in the matter here either. And you're gonna come with me, uh, whether I say yes or no, and I guess it would be nice to have someone to walk to school with, so yeah, sure, I'm ready. Okay, then let's go. <laughs> Logic. <sighs> we have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? I wish my current school was like this. Riding the monorail to school every day, man, that'd be badass. No, I gotta, I gotta take a car to school. <laughs> Shit, my Vita. Oh, yeah, I wish my school was like this though. Get to ride over the sea on a monorail every day. This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Fucking Japan has it all. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. <sighs> well, I guess the idea side. So it's a bit of a walk, but it's pretty much Have it. you ever heard of Tatsumi <laughs> Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh, cool. Oh, look! You can see it now! Again, a lot nicer than my current school. Morning! Fucking Madawan Regional High School. Nothing like this. We don't even have a second floor! Morning! <laughs> well, here we are! Welcome to Gekukon High. You're gonna love it here. Oh, I bet I will. You're okay from here, right? Yep. You should go see your homeroom teacher first. Alright. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Uh, questions? Uh, no, not really. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? Alright. See you later. Letters. Ugh. Anyway, now we can actually move around a bit. Uh, as the game just said, which I like, which is the reason why I like this game above FES. There's a quick travel. That's always pretty cool. Now let's check the bulletin board and see what class we're in. Oh, of course, we're not on here. Well, might as well look for it again. See if any see if anything comes up. And what would be the percent of just giving up? Oh, small note. I'm DeFaro, Class F. You look closer and notice that the name Yukari Takaba is also on the list. Seems you'll be in the same class as her. Eh, there's no escaping that chick, is there? <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's just make our way over to the faculty office. Meet our teacher. Oh, are you the new student? That would be me. 11th grade, correct? Yep. Teachers flipping through pages in a file. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Nice to meet you. <laughs> wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Alright. Follow me. <laughs> As you begin... No, apply. no. I, I just don't like this guy at all. His, his speech goes on forever and ever. If I didn't do that, we would be here for like another half an hour. Psst. Hey. Even though it was like three lines, but still. Huh? The student behind you is trying to get your attention. You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? Yes. I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? 
but I just met her, so I don't know. I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. So how well do you know her? I oh hear talking. Hmm? I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. Hear lots of people talking. Huh. Looks like I'm not the only one. Looks like me and the other student weren't the only ones. Uh, home room is over. Your first after school session is about to begin. What's up, dude? What? How's it going? <laughs> Who are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. Same here, I guess. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey. <laughs> See what a nice guy I am? Hmm. Thanks, Junpei. Hey, Yukari. Hey, it's Yukatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear, you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? <laughs> what? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Funny, huh? Um, hello. Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? By the Kinda. way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. Oh dear. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. <laughs> what are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hmm. Sure it's nothing to be worried about, Yukari. Hey. Hmm? You didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? Uh-uh. Okay. Good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, alright? You really think that was the smartest thing to shout out loud? Oh my. Oh wait, no, no. I, I gotta do it in the voice that really creeps out my friends. <clears throat> oh my. There, my, my George Takei impression for you people. My friends say it's creepy how well I can do that. It's not that hard, though. <laughs> That's the weird thing. Maybe I'm like a little George Takei or something. But where are we? Oh, yes. Oh, my. What? L last night. Again, if I, may, if I may reiterate. Oh, my. Wait a minute. Don't get the wrong idea. Listen. I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. Yes, Junpei, we are just acquaintances. I would say this chick is crazy. I've gotta go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Yes, Junpei, you better not start uh, rumors. Who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. The characters in Persona 2 would beg to differ, Junpei. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man! Okay then. I I'd rather not have everyone talk about me. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year. I can feel it. Alright. Eh. <laughs> you said to go home with Junpei. Because apparently you couldn't go home by yourself. Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? Club? I'll consider it. You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. I mean, what? I'm a junior. Yeah, that's actually kind of like me in real life. I, I didn't join a club until my junior year in high school. <laughs> you made small talk with Junpei as you went home. <laughs> that's pretty good. There's a sign-in sheet on the counter. Yes, we can say we're getting the sign-in sheet. Back. Thank you, sir. Uh... Anyway, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. So next time on Persona 3 FE... No, Persona 3 Reportable. Uh, I guess we will just be uh, continuing on our daily routine and going to school. And everything else. Uh, Alright, uh, see you guys then. Bye.